Robert Tiglow, we already know he's pro-China, as it is. And he just wrote another argument about pro-China. And he's already mad at Marcos, I guess, if you, you can say that, about the South China Sea ruin. He has made an argument that we should just give them the sea. The Philippines should just give all their land to China that China wants, right? So he writes, I hope President-elect Bong Bong was merely misquoted by CNN Philippines or perhaps with his busy schedule, he has yet to study the South China Sea issue. I'm not for sure what they're to study on. It's common knowledge. It's common sense. The only person that seems to be having issues with this is Robert Tiglo. But a statement on the 25th, quoted by a local CNN, foiled me. We are a very important ruin in our favor. We use it to continue to assert our territorial rights. And he should. That's what you're supposed to do. It is not a claim. It is already a territorial right. And what the arbitrary ruin could do to help us. He was referring to the July 16th ruling by the dubious arbitrary panel in Territory Maritime. So basically, the Hague ruling ruled that the Philippines area of the sea was truly theirs and not China's. And Robert Tiglow is trying to make an argument for China just because he hates America. Robert Tiglow is willing to betray the Filipino people in favor of China because that's what he is. He's a traitor. I'm afraid BBM is totally misinformed here. I strongly suggest he reads my book, The Debacle. Oh my God, you're trying to sell a book to the president because you're mad that he might insert Filipino territory. And we already know you're, based off your history, Mr. Tiglo, you're a liar, you're a traitor, you're everything the Bible talks about that Jesus is against. You don't like white people, you hate women, only thing that you're for is China and apparently Russia killing Ukrainians. The South China Sea deception, which there is none, of the pro-U.S. and anti-China writers include, is not pro-U.S. That is Filipino Sea. See, the U.S. was obligated by their contracts with the Philippines for mutual defense. I'm sorry that you don't understand. We already know what's in your book. It's a bunch of lies, misquotes, misinformation, because that's what you do. Oh, man. So, let's see what else he says. Six years after the dubious arbitration panel handed down his ruling, most countries in the world, including ours, of course, and the U.S. and vast nations have ignored it. This is because several of the ruins would also adverse them to strict definition of island. He is wrong again about everything. For BBM, what should be obnoxious to him regarding the ruling is that one of the provisions throws to the dustbin, one of the Father's most important legacies in the nation, the creation of the island group. So you're going to sit there and say it belongs to China to begin with, but then you say your father created this island group, but your argument is it should go to China. Now you're already contradicting yourself. That's what you do because you're so full of misinformation, you can't keep up with your same story. In fact, it has been the only addition to our territory since 1898, the Treaty of Paris. And, oh man... BBN's father, Marcos, through President's decree, boldly annexed that hexagonal area and called it the Kaleen Island Group. Encompassed a huge area, the Spratty Islands, includes many small islands or thousand tiny reefs. And I'm not trying to be mean, but if you look at the map, China's way out of their Dane League to begin with. Even if you didn't agree with the maps, a diff different ruling, they can't just claim the whole entire damn ocean. They're pushing the Filipinos all the way to the damn Manila as it is. And you're making a very stupid argument. The hag ruin who did study this, studied it deeply by a bunch of professionals, ruled differently than you because you are not the expert just because you write a book called A Debacle Full of Misinformation. See, Mr. Tiglow, you can fool Filipinos, but you can't fool me. It was a brilliant move by Marcos owning to his firm grasp of geological situation. Look, I can't even f finish reading some of this because it is truly stupid. Philippines to uphold tr There is indication that Marcos planned to annex it early as 1970 when he issued our authorization to Filipino Swedes and U.S. exploration firms. This is all just a bunch of junk. The bottom line is, as Philippine waters, whether China likes it or not, and people that stand up for China and say it should be China water, just move to China. Get the hell out of the damn Philippines, you traitor.